Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. We are the RC Sailors. No Popeye today. But that's because we are all the way out at Lake Vesuvius. And it's super cold. It's, well, it's pretty cold. It's about 30 degrees. And we thought it'd be fun to drive the Arma Sinton out here and just kind of explore a little bit. It's hard to tell right now, but there are spots that are kind of pretty. We've got some icicles there and uh, the lake is partially frozen over. So we thought it would be just kind of fun to share this experience with you guys with the Arma Sinton, just exploring a bit. And uh, hopefully we find some good, good little bashing grounds because the first RC vehicles we ever owned were, uh, at least for the channel, were one tenth scale short course trucks. And that's what this is. And so we're just out to have some fun. It's just bringing back some good memories. All right, Abby, you're our driver. Take it on the ice. It is fast. It's just a fun little truck. Super thin ice. I would like to be able to take it on that ice, but it is too thin. It'll definitely fall through. Not too bad. <laughs> it handles it well. It's, uh, it's really well made. Really well made. While we're here, let's go check this out. It's frozen over. Now don't drive over because <laughs> it definitely will fall through this ice. It's very thin. Very thin. <clears throat> Never do this. I'm not walking at home. on it. I'm just putting my feet on it. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> yep, it's already broken. <laughs> it's very thin. That's crazy though. Yeah. Ah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it might be like an inch or so thick out in the middle or something. Uh, right it, it should be should really be thicker thin. on the edge though, right? Yeah. All right here, it's really. It's thin. just thin all over. Everybody out there watching, stay away from frozen lakes and ponds. You're driving like a grandma, Abby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of nervous. I know. Technically. It can't go through there. And it, boy, it looks. It like looks it. like it can, but it... <laughs> oh, it's frozen. Forgot about you that smacked part. right into that. <laughs> All right, it's com it's completely frozen. I Try forgot to... I had to stop. <laughs> <laughs> go over this ice. Pick it apart. It's, it. it's completely frozen. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, nice. <laughs> I started. It's a little bit wet. Remember, I turned the throttle sensitivity down because of our speed test we did. So you can actually turn the sensitivity up more. Nice. There, it's watery. Watery. Wouldn't that be just wet? <laughs> I said watery. It's watery. I just love this. This is what the hobby's all about. If you're new to the hobby or if you've done it for 20 years or longer, buy a truck, go hiking with someone or by yourself. Get outside, get away from TV. Look at this, just exploring. We got the ice, it's awesome. RC trucks, awesome. Hanging out together outside. Awesome. Ugh. So Abby and I were just walking and talking off camera. I decided to turn it back on because what we were saying is probably stuff that you guys should hear too. And uh... <laughs> that's how you strip gears. <laughs> that's how you strip gears. Wondered why you were doing that. She said... I like this one. And I said, I agree. And then we were talking about reasons why we like it. So camera comes back on for you guys. <laughs> but we love the way it looks. I mean, it's just a little bit different, kind of more modern looking. I'm zooming in here. Get a close shot of this here. Oh. What are you doing? I like how it looks, Crunch. <laughs> yeah. Love the design. They did a good job designing this thing. I really like how it looks. It sounds good. You know, it feels it feels like they actually took the time to do this right when they made it. And I like the speed because we, it's, yes. not, it's not too fast, but it's pretty fast for a little guy. 
but it's not gonna break records. It's not gonna be a, a seriously impressive speed, but it's gonna be a good speed for bashing, bashing and just like relaxing RC fun. Yeah, like we can go on a hike and she can full blast and it goes ahead and bashes around, but it's not so fast that every time you drive it, something breaks. And there are vehicles like that. <laughs> I feel down to you. Yeah. Again, how you strip gears. <laughs> Why are you doing that? I don't know, it's fun. You're, you're teaching everyone how to strip gears. Don't judge me. <laughs> these uh, these included D-Boots tires are actually really nice. They're fairly soft, uh, but they, they do a great job on asphalt. And what are you doing? <laughs> Off-roading. A lot of fun, a lot of fun. And uh, it's just really cool for us to be out here, completely frozen, except way over there where the color changes it is not right there. I need to stop moving so it's not super shaky. <laughs> Starting to thaw out. Abby and I are so ready for spring already. We're gonna make a pit stop. <laughs> I just thought this was a good view. I know this is probably like a little bit more of a relaxed video for us. We kind of, we like to go out and do the hill climb challenge and, uh, you know, do some like bashing music and stuff, little slow motion shots, but this just seemed really appropriate for today. We're just out here. Look at these crazy patterns in the ice. Look at this. Do you see these? That's perception. Look, Abby, <laughs> look at the ice. Yeah, I know. It's pretty. It's really wild. It's like a, Can like a camo pattern or something. Oh yeah. Okay, let's see if we can zoom in on you. Depth Hold on. Kind of ah, there you are. You got this. <laughs> I'm not going fast. I think I'm in the grass. You are in the grass. <laughs> Ooh. That's a good uh, test of the range. <laughs> I'm either going to go in the lake. Oh no, you are toward the grass now. <laughs> do you must have a higher view than Yeah, I do. I do. Height. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you guys remember this, you probably don't, most of you, because a lot of you are newer to the channel, but there are a couple of you that might remember me flying a water plane here. I, I flew uh, an, air, an RC airplane with uh, water pontoons on it. That was a lot of fun. That was here. That was this lake, Lake Vesuvius in Ohio, because it can't come back up the hill. Yeah, it could. You think so? Okay. Yeah. All right. Abby says this can come back up this hill. I say it can't. It's really soft grass. So you go down the hill and if it can't come back up, guess who gets to get it? All right. It's wet down there. It is. Yeah, it's really. Okay. Can it make it? I'll be impressed. It's coming. Okay. What, what do you have to do now? Jump in the lake. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see that. Oh man. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, I'm surprised. I don't think it could go. I mean, I don't... The camera is really hard to... You know, it's, it doesn't do as much justice as being in real life. But I can tell you this. I don't want to walk up that hill. So, <laughs> it's a big hill. <laughs> I like it here a lot. Lake Vesuvius is really nice. I'm in the way! I told you it could do it. There's no wind. I want to... How did you doubt that it could do that? I don't know. I don't know why I thought that, but it's a really steep, nasty hill. I guess that's why. <laughs> Here we go again. Oh, there it's rolling. Now, now, oh, good. <laughs> I kind of want to go back on that trail a little bit. Do you? Yeah, let's go. This is a cool spot. I wanted to show you guys. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Abby has caught a really cool fish here before. Well, not here, but I'll show you in a second. My giant fish? Yeah, your giant fish. <laughs> yep. It was down in it that pit. Away. Yep. That was a huge bait It was. Carp. She just dropped in her little bait and two seconds later, big carp on the line. It was cheating though. Very much so. You can catch a fish right there easy. <laughs> well, didn't we, didn't we release it back up in the lake or something? I can't remember. I know we didn't release it in there. I don't remember. I can't remember where we put that guy. We didn't eat it. I know that. <laughs> we released it. There's uh, the furnaces or one of the furnaces. Yeah. That's an old iron furnace, right? Yeah. Pretty cool. We've actually done some drone videos down there before. Yeah. 
right in front of it. There's a lot to see and do at Lake Vesuvius. We like it here a lot. Hit the six. Hit the six. <laughs> So who after watching this video has to pee now? <laughs> go, go, go! Has some good get up. It does, yeah. yeah. It's fun, it makes, I'm smiling the whole time I'm driving it. Yeah. Smiling. It looks good, it drives well, it handles well. It's a very good little short course truck. Nice. Goal is to not go in the lake. That's the goal today. Yeah. Ah! Not skidding as well as I wanted to. That's... Don't get my camera dirty. Do, 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 do. <laughs> it's not a crawler, but I'm making it one. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Kind of. <laughs> okay, we'll get these up here. Ah! Oh, oh, no, oh. No, no. that's how it can go in the lake. Reverse, reverse. Okay, okay, okay. That was close enough, we're done. <laughs> we both also decided that we don't want to, it's pretty muddy. It doesn't really look very muddy, but we've avoided most of the mud today. I don't think we want to get super muddy. Go around. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, let's talk about pros and cons here as we kind of walk back. What do you think? Uh, I like to start with maybe some cons. What do you think stands out as a negative thing on this truck? Um... Okay, I'll start. <laughs> I think the included battery is okay, but you're definitely going to want to upgrade. Yeah. So it'll get you running, and that's a nice thing, but um, it's, it's going to be your biggest limitation when you first buy this. And the included charger in this ready-to-run setup is nothing to write home about. That's definitely something you're going to want to upgrade when you buy your battery. So you can charge your batteries quicker. Right. And, and get out faster. We will link some of our favorite options for the batteries that we're using in this now. And uh, one of our favorite chargers will have a uh, an expensive version of that charger and a cheaper version of that charger. They both are awesome. I think that's probably about it for the cons though, right? Well, yeah, I mean there's a lot of plastic parts on here. A lot of guys would eventually want to upgrade to aluminum. But the good thing about that is it keeps the initial costs down. You can get up and running faster and cheaper and then replace things and upgrade things as they break. And I enjoy that type of concept with this kind of vehicle. I, I think the best things though are really what we, we should focus on because this does have a few key things that are different. Uh, let's stop it for a second and take a look under the hood. Now first and foremost, like we were saying earlier, we really like how this thing looks. My favorite thing about it is that it's four wheel drive and those tires do an amazing job. I'm really impressed with the tires. They're good tires. The body design, like I was saying, is really just it just is nicer than a lot of the one-tenth scale short course trucks that we see on the market. There's more bins, there's more detail. I, I just like the little hood scoop they have going on there. The artwork is really nice. It's not just some ugly solid collar. I like the body clips are attached. I do too. And so once you get underneath, I showed you guys this in the speed test video and since we're... Yeah, That's don't fun. just... I like that. Uh, since it's muddy and I have my gloves on, I don't want to get these super muddy right now. But if you want to see this in action, you can take that drive shaft out without removing any screws. If you ever need to work on any of it, you can pull that out very easily. I showed you that in the speed test video. We'll have it linked in a card in this video. And then one thing I like here is the jumper settings on the ESC. If you want to change from your muddy lipo to your nickel metal hydride, and that's the only batteries you own, you know, you got, that's it. Let's say that's the only two batteries you have. Well, you can easily, with that jumper there, switch from nickel metal hydride to lipo. I really like that a lot. Uh, this would be easy to upgrade if you wanted to upgrade things later, but there's really no need to right out of the box. It's just a lot of fun. A good looking truck, nice, ready to run. And uh, let's point this out too. See these big extended kind of like dirt shields? They're like a like a mud flap kind of. They, they keep, see this is the front of the truck right here. Uh, they keep a lot of that extra dirt and mud from going in there. It could it's, be way worse. It could be way worse, yeah. 
Yeah, that's not too bad considering how we were driving it. I really like this. It held up well with us bashing it and driving it, and this is definitely going to be one to keep. I'm a, I'm a pretty big fan of it. it. You have these side shields too here. Some trucks don't have those, so that helps protect the body and makes it a little more durable. Yeah, they did a good job. If you guys are uh, liking what you see, we'll have it linked in the description box below. We're going to continue driving this back to the car. A nice long trail for us to go back. Can't even see the car right now, so that's really cool. And uh, ho hopefully you guys appreciated this slightly different style of video where we just took you out with us to Lake Vesuvius to enjoy some of these beautiful shots that we don't get to see normally. You guys get to stay nice and cozy warm while we're out here in the 30 degree, 25 degree weather <laughs> just to just to do a fun little video. We, we highly encourage you guys find some aspect of the hobby that you like, whether it's trucks, drones, planes, boats, any RC thing. It helps encourage you to be active and get outside you meet people we always stop and talk to people when we're out doing these hiking trails and stuff we're learning things tinkering I'm really slow at body <laughs> <laughs> my nails i can't do it because my nails i'll help you i'll help you i got it that's the last one yeah. oh, okay <laughs> you're like putting all your weight on it <laughs> I can't. <clears throat> it's a fun hobby it gets us outside on a normal day most people would be inside watching TV. Watching TV. But That's we're okay. outside today. We got to see the ice of the lake, and we also did another video, and uh, we got to go back on a trail, and we saw these huge icicles, and it was beautiful. Talk to a guy with a sheltie. Just an yeah, awesome hobby. Just, just an awesome hobby. Dog. Guys, thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.